All right, this is a quick video on our hash hut series. This is just a small eight foot by four foot hash hut. Um, but they're all basically the same, they just extend in length. So uh, we have a steel man door. Uh, this one's got a manual push pin lock um, and a, another lock as well uh, that's built into the panic hardware. Uh, everything we build comes with a panic hardware bar, um, just to meet safety regulations. Uh, in here, we're using a 90 kilowatt power strip. Uh, this particular unit is going to be hooked up to a 90 kilowatt genset, and uh, which is obviously fed from the outside, and will be uh, powering two racks of computers. So, the hash hut has uh, a design where the air comes in low. Uh, this is where the air comes in on each side of the building. So these are uh, what I call, or I think what they call hog's hair style filters. They're washable filters. And uh, we just built it in this sort of a, a W format, I guess, to increase the surface area. But the air comes in this way. Uh, you can unpin the, unpin the filters, change them out, and wash them out as needed. Uh, that'll filter out all the bugs, debris, um, the air will then come up and then back out uh, the exhaust fan. Now this is a steel rack that'll house all your ASICs. Uh, in the Panduit, um, that's where you'll, you'll feed the power cables and all the Ethernet cables are pre-wired. There's a network switch way up on top um, for each rack. Every rack has its own network switch. Every rack is paired with a fan. So we have a, a half horsepower exhaust fan right there. Uh, if you can see, it's a little dark in here, but if you can see, there's a tin shroud that's uh, basically built into the back of the rack. So when we put up the, uh, the hot cold aisle, I guess, screen where the ASICs uh, plug into this, all the air is basically sucked through and pushed out uh, the exhaust fan. So there's minimal air recirculation in the building. Um, other than that, uh, as the air flows out, as the air flows out, uh, as these are opened up, we also attach a deflector which bolts on to the wall here and it'll deflect the air upwards or downwards. We just don't have it attached right now. In the winter, in the cold winter, you can have it deflect downwards so any any snow that might uh, build up uh, or cake off this screen or the filters would be melted. Uh, we do a let as much through this as possible and then the filters take care of the rest. Uh, you can also sort of just bolt on another snow filter on the outside of this uh, when it gets uh, super cold out, which is what we recommend as well. So that's what you see on both sides. It's symmetrical, it's mirrored. And that's what you'll, you'll get on both sides. Um, this is a pretty simple setup. There's no main disconnect. Uh, the power cable will feed directly to the gen set. There's nothing on the back wall. On our bigger units, the back wall has a uh, main electrical panel mounted. But in this unit, we don't need that. The disconnect is actually on the gen set. And then the rest of it's pretty basic. Uh, there's a power, uh, power bar there splitting power to the fans. Uh, which is fed by, which will be fed by one of the ports in, in this big PDU. And a light switch, uh, just for a light. And up there is a, in the top right, that's a modem. That's where the modem will be mounted in this case in the lightning arrester. And we usually just throw a battery just up on this little shelf. But that's pretty much it. Um, as they get bigger, like as we build bigger units, like our, we have up to 900 kilowatt this building just gets bigger. So this building is can do 180 kilowatt in an eight foot by four foot building. And we do 900 kilowatt in a 20 foot building.